Arkady Bobjenko lives a new monument to Vladimir Putin doesn't pan out like the creators hoped an HIV dissident who lost two sons to AIDS dies of pneumonia Russia Senate wants a visit from Mark Zuckerberg blaming Russian abuse. Of Interpol, Bill Browder spends an hour in Spanish police custody several million dollars of confiscated Luco missing in a case against a corrupt police officer Russian journalist Arkady Bobchenko was not killed on May 29. On Wednesday, May 30, he appeared at a press conference held by Ukraine's National Security Agency, where officials announced the apprehension of the man who planned the murder. Ukrainian officials explained that Tuesday's reports about Bobchenko's murder were part of a special operation designed to flush out the man planning the attack, a Ukrainian citizen recruited by a Russian intelligence agency, who allegedly offered an anti-terrorist operation veteran $40,000 to kill Bobchenko. Ukrainian National Security Agency head Vasil Ritsak said the suspects planned to kill another 30 people in Ukraine. President Petro Poroshenko has assigned 24-hour protection to Bobchenko. Speaking at the press conference, Bobchenko apologized to his wife and friends for keeping the operation a secret, explaining that he learned about the plot against his life roughly a month ago. On May 29, journalists reported that Bobchenko was shot three times in the back and killed as he entered his apartment building in Kiev. Commenting on the revelation that Bobchenko is alive, Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zaharova said, It's of course great news that Bobchenko is alive. Shame is that this masquerade hasn't worked out in other cases, same time or after the murder, but before the big reveal when Bobchenko was still dead, Medusa published two obituaries about him. They're moot now, but that doesn't mean you can't still read them, to find out just who this man is. The Putin monument that wasn't Statue of Liberty Vladimir Putin's personality cult has reached some spectacular heights over the past two decades. Young women have torn their shirts for him, defrauded apartment owners have addressed SOS messages painted on rooftops to him, and pop musicians have written hit songs about him. This Tuesday, however, the village of Chastusery in the Kurgan region apparently went too far when it unveiled, serving the Fatherland, a new monument dedicated to Vladimir Putin. Originally, it was supposed to feature Putin standing at a podium labeled with the presidential coat of arms. Behind him, beneath the flags of Tsarist Russia, the USSR, and the Russian Federation, stood a map of Russia, one that includes Crimea but leaves out Kaliningrad and the Kuril Islands. When the monument was formerly unveiled on May 29, however, the 3.5-meter-tall, 11.5-foot-tall, Putin statue had vanished. Read the full story at Medusa, a Russian village built a monument to Vladimir Putin, but then it removed him from the statue at the last minute. Dying for the cause coffin an HIV dissident in the Ural region who previously lost two children to AIDS has herself died from pneumonia. Diagnosed with HIV while pregnant with her first child, Sofia Miaskovskaya reportedly died on May 21. Her first baby died in 2015 before reaching the age of two, and her second child died in 2016, before turning one. Both boys were born with HIV, but Miaskovskaya refused to treat them with antiretroviral therapy, believing HIV and AIDS to be a myth. Russian officials have tried battling HIV dissidents by charging them with criminal negligence when they deny their children life-saving medical treatments. As recently as April 2018, police launched a case against a woman in Irkutsk whose four-month-old daughter died from a preventable infection brought on by HIV. Russia's health ministry has suggested administrative fines on HIV dissident propaganda, hoping to stop the spread of the philosophy. Where's Moscow's visit? Mark airplane arrival Russia's Senate wants what Mark Zuckerberg was kind enough to grant the U.S. legislature and European Parliament, a formal visit. 
On Wednesday, Chairwoman Valentina Matvilenko said Russia's Federation Council will invite the Facebook founder for a discussion about the development of digitization in Russia. Don't get too excited about seeing Zuckerberg in Moscow, however. Even Matt Vilenko immediately expressed doubts that he would accept her invitation. Bill Browder's sour Spanish hour police officer mail signed Spain venture capitalist turned Putin critic Bill Browder spent about an hour in police custody in Spain on Wednesday. Spanish officials said they were acting on an expired arrest warrant issued by Interpol. According to the BBC, Interpol rejected the claim, saying, there is not, and never has been, a red notice for Mr. Bill Browder. On Twitter, Browder insisted that his detention in Madrid was not an expired warrant but a live one, accusing Interpol of being incapable of stopping Russian abuse of their systems. Browder is wanted in Russia on tax fraud charges, which he disputes. After making millions of dollars in the late 1990s and early 2000s, he fell out with the Russian authorities in 2005, culminating in 2009 with the death of Sergei Magnitsky, a lawyer hired to audit Browder's investment fund. Browder has since lobbied several governments to adopt sanctions against Russia in Magnitsky's name. On Twitter, he said he was in Spain to give evidence about the huge amount of money from the Magnitsky case that flowed to Spain. A few missing millions flying money Russian investigators are looking into the disappearance of some of the money seized from Dmitry Zakharchenko, a police colonel charged with large-scale bribery. According to REN TV, between $3.5 million and $5 million has gone missing. The television station also published a copy of a document sent by the authorities to Suburbank, requesting information about the staff who were assigned to recounting the money between April 27 and May 2. The cash was reportedly stored in 44 boxes. Dmitry Zakharchenko was arrested in 2016 on charges of bribery, abuse of authority, and obstruction of justice. Officials seized his considerable illicit wealth, which included several luxury cars, expensive real estate, and roughly 8 billion rubles, $128.3 million.